Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming, bringing you guys episode number 10 of this journey to the Ultimate Ultimate Team. And as you guys can see up on the screen, we're going to start this episode out, try to do a little bit of trading, but a bit unlucky over there, and getting quite quickly outbidded on those center forward striker cards. Now, they are very cheap at the moment. Probably going to get a bit cheaper over the upcoming two days, guys. Many people will be opening packs and prices of things and players will go down for a period of time and then probably after a week or two they'll start going up and they will rise quite nicely now you guys can see up on screen we're going to try out our silver team but we weren't able to find a match so i decided let's play a single online match and you also guys will see in this episode my brother will be playing a game so my bro will actually have his first ever game on 14 and you guys will see how that goes now guys i haven't got the actual game just yet i'm probably going to get it either tomorrow or on sunday provided i get some free time i know there's euro gamer going on and i'll be there as well and you can see over there my first opponent is running a 343 looks like a French side with the exception of Bender and I think that's Johnson over there and the goalkeeper now um, guys in this episode I'll talk about the topic of those coin boosters that you unlock in the catalog and also I believe it was about investing into some informs that are going for around 10,000 coins now many people have been asking me about informs and I'll quickly start on the topic of the coin bonuses because that was quite a hot topic and also many uh, subs have been asking me on Twitter about uh, why are coin bonuses not showing up in the catalog. Now my only explanation guys for that because I don't have the actual game but I feel that the only reason they're not appearing in the catalog is possibly EA have taken them out of the game because as you guys know I was adding them all up and just the thousand coin bonuses were equating to around about 70,000 coins. And in last year's FIFA, guys, the amount of coins that there were in the beginning of the game literally killed the game very instantly. Before Christmas, guys, people were getting bored of it. So uh, that's probably one of the reasons EA made it a little bit more of a challenge. But you can see there, our opponent scores a beautiful header with Bender. And you guys still know that headers are still quite overpowered. Even though there was an update, guys, to the uh, 14 uh, early access, it was still a bit like that. But we go with a beautiful overhead with De Gennaro, And uh, he's going to put it back into the nice back of the net really easily over there and get us a lead at this point. I think it's 2-1. But look at this, guys. Jonathan Biabiani. This guy is an absolute tank of a player. Also, incredible pace. And look at this for a cross. He wasn't even facing the correct direction. Now, I personally feel that's not realistic. However, EA begged to differ. And that's how my opponent goes to score an equalizer off a rebound. Now, into half time, we are 2 all at peace. And, uh, Pretty much trying to break free over there in the possession side and shots, but we'll try our best and get through it. Now, uh, another topic, guys, was about informs. Now, subs have been asking me, I've got an inform for around about 10,000 coins. They don't sell for more than 12,000 on the market. What should I do? And the question to that, or the answer to that, moreover, guys, is I would personally hold on to them. If you hold on to them for two or three weeks, if you don't need the coins, by all means, hold on to those players. And you guys might see in two weeks down the line, if they don't get another inform, that card could possibly worth be 20, 30,000 coins. Now, that doesn't seem like much, but for someone who's not going to be playing the game as much, then uh, that is working out to quite a bit. We get tackled very harshly over there, but Katola guy is going to get the ball, sweep into the back of the net over there, and give us, I think it was a 4-2 lead, so we were just pretty much putting on the goals at this point. No, it was 5-2. You guys can literally see we were absolutely taking our opponent, and then I think it was frozen here now. You guys can see over there in the top corner, when it does freeze, when your opponent rage quits, it doesn't completely seize up on the console. What you actually notice is where you score, your scoreline is, there is going to be a little bit like a shadow or like a light going through it, and that shows you that your opponent has rage quit. So, don't worry guys. You can see that we've pretty much made our whole coins back on the uh, German side, and we're actually going to go use them now. So, we're going to have a bit of fun over there. But yeah, getting back to the informs guys, if you get players like Isco, I'd definitely say look at the prices, because at the moment guys, people are going to be opening a lot of packs in the market, and that's going to mean players prices are going to crash now that means you can go pick up your favorite teams some of your really good teams you could probably pick up your Benteke's your Lamella's all those really fancy players that you guys would like to have in your squads pick them up now and then probably down one or two weeks down the line their prices are going to start jumping back up because there's going to be more coins on the market and people don't want to really have uh, more coins and see prices staying so cheap. So people are going to start picking up prices and that's normally how it will work. And it's just all simple guys, ep economics going into the market. So definitely guys, if you want to know, uh, by all means, follow me on Twitter. You guys will then be able to ask me some questions and I'll get back to you guys as quickly as I can. Now our next opponent is running a 4-1-2-1-2 side and he's got Andy Carroll, I believe, Osvaldo, uh, 
I think that Sinclair, he transferred over to West Brom, and he's got quite a nice BPL side over there, except for his right back, which I have no idea why he put him in there. But nonetheless, guys, we will try playing with our German side. We get a nice ball to Kakao, and this guy's going to try finishing at the near post. Gets a rebound a little bit off, and you guys know rebounds are just so easy in this game. It's going to be a factor that... I personally feel even though they've patched a little bit up, rebounds are still so easy to come by and that will be a feature I think that you guys will definitely need to put chemistry cards or chemistry styles onto a couple uh, goalkeepers just to make sure they handle the ball much more effectively. That would be my recommendation just to avoid that. Julian Draxler going to absolutely smash that one into the bottom corner and he's a great player. For a cam guys you can pick him up for 1,200 to 1,500 coins. He probably might go down a little bit more but uh, I definitely think he's worth every single penny and you can see they're absolutely having a great stats at half time. Now we get a free, uh, corner I believe here. And Draxler, yet again, out -headering. He literally pushed my opponent's defenders into the goal and scored it as well. Now, here we get a bit of a skill play with uh, Schlaudroff. And I'm just trying to get in over here. It's so easy to maneuver with him. His dribbling ability in this game is incredible. And also, four-star skill and four-star weak foot makes him really fun. However, we try going for a corner. Now, this is a little bit of a factor which I found a bit annoying. Osvaldo doesn't have the best of stats. However, he is running, outrunning Muller, who's got 88 pace. And you can see over there, guys, he's gaining some sort of acceleration. Goes for a far, uh, far corner finish, and he does put that one away. So, great shot on my opponent's half, guys. I think that gave him a little bit of a goal back, just to, not to discourage him. But overall, his team did look like a team built just designed for headers and strength with Carroll and Osvaldo up front. And... Uh, when you got a team like mine, guys, they just sort of outplay. You can see down the stats, really killing him on shots. 17, I believe, to his four. So really good stats over there. And we're going to jump now. And I think at this point, guys, you're going to see my brother play. He's going to play a game on 14. Yet to play the early Axis. And you guys know he does the PS, uh, PS3 side of everything. And I actually went to my catalog because I wanted to unlock something. And a subscriber, Jack Cool 83 sent me a coin booster. Now, I don't think that's going to be in effect anymore. But I really do thank you, Jack, for sending that over. And uh, we will try to uh, see if that will work because that will be quite nice over there. And I kind of now regret, so considering coin boosters might have disappeared, kind of regret not unlocking a couple thousand ones. And they didn't stack initially, guys. So kind of upsetting on that front. I'd hopefully I'd like them to be in the game because they do help out quite a bit, especially if people are struggling. But nonetheless, you know, I'll show you guys some tips. I've got a trading technique, guys, for you out possibly tomorrow. Uh, in the last skill games I played yesterday, guys, I came fifth in the world for crossing in on Xbox. So if you guys have me on your friends list on Xbox, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, check the crossing one out on the skill games, and I think it's the silver one. I've literally, uh, my brother actually got us into the top five in the world, so it's incredible stuff out there. I'm not too sure this morning if it's still there, but... You know what, guys? I've got video proof of it, and I'll show you guys that in uh, a video starting tomorrow with skill games as well, because I'm going to try getting as much stuff out over there. Now, my bro did decide to go into a online single-player match just to avoid me getting any issues in the divisions, because that one is personally for me in the Journey series, and he gets kind of matched up with this guy over there. He kept matching up with him twice in a row. Now, guys, look at the guy's rating. 68, 66, and 71, so presumably either a silver or a I think a silver or a bronze team was meant to be. And you can see our rating over there. We're using our silver team, uh, sorry, our gold team, which is a low rated team. And we get matched up with our opponent. Look at this team, guys. Now, he does have a 4 4 2. Christian Benteke, uh, Lukaku. His team is nowhere near that rating, which is a 68 attack. Because what you do is you combine the two strikers, divide it by two, and that's meant to give you the overall. Now, that attack is 78. And the rest of the team, guys, was nowhere near that rating. So maybe EA uh, have a little bit of a issue over there on their so-called matchmaking in this game. Like I said, guys, in one of my other videos, um, very big issue over there. But we do pick up a, a little bit of a lead over there. My bro went and scored a finesse shot. Punishing the keeper over there. And then look at this from Christian Benteke. Trying to chip it over the keeper. He is so strong in this game. It is incredible. But then he goes again. And uh, keeper rebounding it again. I definitely need to go probably get a chemistry style for him. Before the next episode. Because he will be a big... Uh, probably say a big disappointment if he doesn't catch the ball and this guy was doing Gangnam Style like there was no tomorrow literally I could have played Gangnam Style in the video just continuously because that's how it was and Benteke free again bring out the defense and that was a 2-1 uh, lead over there to my opponent so my bro not doing so well on 14 but this was his first game so I had to give it to him over there and you can see over here tries to clear it out it's gonna fall to Axel Witzel and he's gonna put it in and make it 3-1. Gangnam style again. And <laughs> just pretty much very repetitive. And somehow Sherlock went through Witzel. And then he picks up a penalty. Tries to go, I believe, to a little chip. 
but my bro can read penalties just as well as I do and saves it over there. And Kakao is breaking free, uh, going past, I think, Diakite. Going 1-1 one -on -one with the keeper and slotting it home to bring us there, I think, at 3-1. So now it's 3-2 getting ourselves back into the game and at half time you can see that pretty much it was uh, looking like a demolition job from my opponent's side he was trying to pretty much handle us over somehow my bro managed to keep his position up but uh, I'm probably going to be doing a series guys with uh, two player I don't know might be doing that with my bro it could be an ultimate team or even a uh, few different ideas I've got a different idea on head 10 seasons but you can see over there Fellaini and his Gangnam Style we're just going to cut them off there and that's how the game does end so it's 4-2 guys final result for this episode but next episode guys I'll be playing all the games so you guys can expect me to uh, do that you, you actually saw that guys we didn't get the coin booster so yeah that's uh, something EA probably did probably they updated it last night but you can see over there that that's how this episode is gonna end out I believe and uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy it by all means uh, if you're new here subscribe for more daily FIFA 14 comment if you guys have enjoyed by all means please do drop it a like it's always appreciated and guys this has been AVJV Game. I'll catch you guys tomorrow for skill games and possibly a trading video so see you guys later